Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're gonna go over one of the most common questions we get at Trident, which is how to choose the right reel for your spay or switch rod. Whether you're just getting started with spay or whether you've been doing it for a long time, dialing in your setup is gonna be critical to success. It leads to better casting and a lot more fun on the water. So in this video, we're gonna talk about choosing the right reel and making sure that you've got the right reel every single time for your spay or switch rod. And we're gonna do this with three simple tips. Tip number one is what I like to call the rule of three. And that is size up three full line sizes. So what I mean by that is if your spay rod says it's a five weight, you're gonna to wanna to size up to at least an eight weight reel. Now, if you're coming from the single hand world, you're probably wondering, why is this the case? Let's take my 13 foot seven weight ask with as an example. This rod here takes about a 600 grain Skagit line. And that's gonna line up with roughly a 13 weight single hand line. So any reel that you stick this on needs to be able to handle 150, 200 yards of backing plus a 13 weight line. Skagit lines are simply much, much thicker than a standard single hand line. So just to drive this point home here, using these Sage Spectrum LTs, if you have a five weight spay rod, you're gonna wanna go up at least one full size to this seven, eight weight Spectrum LT. Now this is gonna be made even trickier by the fact that there's no line standard for spay rods. In the single hand world, we've got a line weight chart that roughly corresponds with rod, reel, line weights. In spay, that doesn't really exist. And if it does exist, the manufacturers tend to ignore it. So taking one of my favorite spay rods of all time, this 910, 14 foot gale force, this rod comes from England where the lines are tend to be one size higher than the traditional US line weight. And so this complicates things a bit because a 13 weight reel is probably a little bit too big for this gale force. But the bottom line is, if you go up a reel size, you should still be in the ballpark and you'll have a rod that's gonna work really well. Call us at Trident and we'll help you make sure that the reel you've got matches your grain weights. Tip number two is go heavy. And this is a great tip for anyone who's looking to save a little bit of money on their spay reel. Because you're putting two hands on the rod, you generally are not gonna be so worried about balance. And because you're swinging it in a totally different way, reels on your spay rod do not have to be super, super light. And depending on how you're fishing, you may in fact like a reel that's a little bit heavier and helps you keep that tip balanced or even up. Keep in mind that you've got a lever that's 11, 12, 13, 14, 16 feet long, and you can put a lot of reel and still have it be quite comfortable casting all day. Tip number three is gonna be to consider a full cage reel. And here's what I mean by full cage. Take this Lamson Cobalt HD. You'll see once I take off the spool that it is fully enclosed here. And that's what we mean by a full cage. Once you put your line through, there's no way for it to slip out. And what that does is help you if you're fishing in particular thin mono running lines, like our OPST laser line here, it stops them 100% from ever slipping through any portion of this reel. Now, if you're fishing a coated running line, like I do most of the time, you're probably not gonna have to worry about it. Sure, it might happen once in a blue moon, but the reality is that it's not gonna be a problem all day, every day, and I wouldn't necessarily go out and buy a reel just to get that full cage. Now, let's review what we just talked about and keep it real simple. First, size up three line sizes or a full reel size. Don't worry about getting a super lightweight reel, and if you can, get a full cage and especially get a full cage if you're gonna fish a mono running line. And you'll get the perfect reel for your spare switch rod every single time. 
Let us know what your favorite spay reel is by leaving a comment in the box below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for lots of great videos we've got coming up. And of course, if you still need help dialing in your setup, give us a call at 888-413-5211 and we'll help you because we've got tons of people who fish spay all the time ready to talk to you. I'm Ben. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.